Are you saying you're comfortable with these guardrails? I'm not saying I'm comfortable with guardrails that are not appropriately installed. No, that is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is that uh, when you, someone goes out and finds a handful of these, I don't know how much time he spent looking at this, uh, but we have somewhere in the neighborhood of, uh, on our system, we, we don't know, but somewhere in the neighborhood of 300 to 500,000 guardrail ends. Yeah, we don't believe, we, we're not, we do not believe it would be a cost effective endeavor to go out there and look at every one of these, looking for these uh, uh, modified uh, assembled devices. Even if it could save one life? You know, uh, when you look at the opportunity cost of spending uh, millions of dollars uh, doing something that has a, a very rare event, when we could spend that millions of dollars that focus on things that have a more frequent event, there's a likelihood that we would save more lives spending that time and money on other activities. So, you know, when someone comes up to me and says, even if it saves one life, we also got to consider what the opportunity cost is because there's lives that can be saved in the opportunity of that as well. So, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's a false argument to say if you can save just a single life because the time and resources we spend elsewhere, when you talk about 20 or 30 lives a year, that's a tremendous n impact on families. But in our state, we have 15, 1600 fatalities a year. We have many more thousands of very severe injuries. And there are issues that are much more impactful than, than this specific topic.